guys and welcome back to another episode of the screening room with Adenike. So today I will be talking about Ghana Must Go. Well, not literally. <laughs> it's the movie, not the bag, in fact. It's the movie produced by Yvonne Okoro and directed by Frank Raza. So without much ado, let's go. In us out. Who are these people? The Nigerians must go! Look at you! Every time I try to bring you down, let us talk man to man. Every time you are flaring up, man to man, are you a man? Don't open your eyes for me. I will beat you in this house. You can't! I will beat you! You know who I am! Who are you? You know who I am! Who are you? Alright guys, welcome back. So, Ghana Moscow is a Ghanaian movie produced by Yvonne Okoro and directed by Frank Raja. The movie features Yvonne Okoro, Blossom Chukujueku, Ike Obona, Helim Paul, Inkem Owo, Ada Ame, and Kofi Ajololo. It's a romantic comedy that tells the story of a particular couple, a Ghanaian lady and a Nigerian man, who decided to get married in London and they went to go visit the lady's family in Ghana only to find out that our father hates Nigerians like hates Nigerians and even more hates the Ghana must go bags so the movie surrounded how they were able to convince the father and the whole fight and hilarity that took place while they were staying at the house and over the weekend okay I'm giving this movie a 3.8 over 5 I absolutely loved it I enjoyed it I thought it was a really really good movie for the most part <laughs> but I thought it was a really really good movie so like I said I'm giving the movie 3.8 over 5 and here is why number one thing that I loved about the movie was that it was actually funny like effortlessly funny I mean they did try to exaggerate or they did exaggerate in a few places you know either in their in the script in their lines or in their dramatics or whatnot but at the end of the day the movie was hilarious to watch even okoro and blossom together surprisingly made a really really good couple i was a bit skeptical like mm, what's the you know chemistry going to look like or whatnot but it actually they, I, I thought it worked well it wasn't great it wasn't exceptional but i thought that together they worked really really well another thing i loved about it was the editing and transitioning from one scene to another the storytelling was so good the transitioning was well done the editing was well done i felt like the movie went at a very very good pace it started like bam straight into it i felt like the casting was genius that's one of the best things that worked for this movie the casting was so it was it was so good especially the casting of inkem owo I was like, the moment it came onto the scene, the cinema went wild. Like everybody was shouting and screaming and people were just so really excited to see him. And you know, he never, also fear, he never disappoints. <laughs> so having him in this room was very, very good. She found a way to take a very, very popular subject, Ghana must go, and merge it into a romance you know, Yvonne Okoro and Blossom's character and then make it very very funny with the insertion of you know, all the theatrics and whatnot, and then bring a very very good message out of it let's all live together as one however, the movie was not without faults number one being Ike Obona's character I felt like it tried too hard just relax. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know how to say in uh, in English, but Ariel Ballet, you know, it was just all over the place, you know. So, yeah, I felt like if IK had toned that down, I would have enjoyed his character a bit more. Now, any post part character, I could have done without her. I mean, she tried to be funny in a few places, but I really didn't see the essence. So, they have continuity issues in a few places. I mean, if one's younger sister goes, oh, yeah, you know, she's wearing school uniform and she's like oh yeah i'm off to school now and she goes to school and later that same day we see ike when i tell him blossom that oh you know it's saturday you should drink up and blah 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 and i was like hold up hold up hold up just hold up she goes to school on a saturday wearing school uniform mm -hmm. Yvonne's costume choices were a bit exposing especially a bra and everything was just out there like they weren't trying to hide it. There was a scene where Kofi referred to Ike Obona and he said, he said, don't make me remind you that you have Nigerian blood in you or something like that. You know, so I didn't quite understand that. Overall, however, I thought, I thought it was incredibly funny, 
kudos to Yvonne Okoro and Frank Raja for directing a good movie and for to Yvonne for producing a good one at that. Once again, like I said, I'm giving this movie a 3.8 over 5. Should you see it? Absolutely, it's still in Nigerian cinemas right now. I recommend it. You definitely have to go check it out. I think you're gonna have a good laugh, especially if you're having a bad day. <laughs> Alright guys, thank you guys so much for watching. Remember, like I always tell you, stay subscribed. Something big is coming. I can't wait to share it with you guys. But until then, remain in God. God bless you. Bye-bye.